Hey guys, welcome to Tips and Tricks. This is Viren here. And uh, like I promised in my last video, we will see another uh, mirroring or screen casting application. Uh, last time we discussed A Power Mirroring, and this time we will discuss or uh, check out Reflector 2. Uh, the difference is in A Power Mirroring, you know, you had to uh, install A Power Mirroring on your PC, and then you had to install the same application on your phone as well. Uh, little difference here is Reflector 2 talks uh, to two, two or three different applications and I'm sure they are related to Reflector 2. I mean I just wanted to point out you will not see Reflector 2 as in as an app in your phone so that you know you can start mirroring. You would see uh, you need to have applications like Reflector Director, Reflector Student, something like that and you will see it. Alright so I've all installed this on my PC and uh, on my phone I'm using iPhone I have installed Reflector Student so in the right corner it's already there uh, the uh, reflector 2 is up and running i can see see it in my system tray i'm gonna bring it up okay all right there you go so in the right bottom corner uh, it's already recognized my pc by my name hp now here uh, if i click on the code uh, to the right of which says quick connect if I click on double click on this There you go. It also mentions that you need to use reflector 2 with other squirrel products So this is a squirrel product and you need to use this with other products like air palette 2 Reflector director and reflector student. So I missed the first one. I guess I have reflector student on my phone uh, You can have reflector director or air palette 2 all right, so you need to you need to connect your phone with this application on the PC only once. Uh, either you can you know you can bring up the application on your phone like I have brought up Reflector Student. You need to first uh, you know uh, click on Auto Discovery. Once you do that and you know it's connected, or you can link it with the camera. Once you do that, and uh, next time you want to connect, scroll below. From below on your phone and you see the airplay mirroring option you hit that you will see your PC listed and the moment I hit my PC there you go so this is the option I was saying let me show you once you scroll from below this is the place where you will see airplay mirroring and the moment you hit airplay mirroring you will see your PC listed all right so once again you connect to this app on the PC only once that is either through this option so that you can punch in this code on the phone or you can start the camera on the app and you can connect this to, to this so next time all you need to do is this reflector app should be running on your PC you don't need to even bring this up like I will show you I will close this also I'm just closing the window if you see in the system tray reflector 2 is still working all I will do is on my phone scroll from below hit airplay mirroring and then click on HP that is my laptop and quickly it comes up all right so speed is good uh, it's catching up they still have a watermark here reflected too now they have mentioned it here trial mode purchase to remove this watermark now just like we saw in a power mirroring you can record from here okay recording is started and let me see what happens if I stop is it saving the file on its own okay I see a little lag in this uh, then a power mirroring but fine it's doing it while it does that I'm gonna bring up the application in the right bottom corner because I want to discuss a few other things okay so by default it is saving it in mp4 file and if you remember in APA power mirroring we had options to save it in a lot of different formats all right um, I'll bring up this settings corner on the right side now in the settings you would see preferences check for updates it also talks about the reflected too I'm gonna go to preferences straight away now here it knows my PC name uh, always show the client name obviously it should be always uh, I'll go to connections then airplay resolution now here it it's full HD you can go to the other options but I think this is recommended then what are the other sizes airplay 
password and all that doesn't make any sense connect and show device show frame quality okay now this is also something full full screen background solid color now can i change it let's see what happens will it change here in the phone or where will it change okay and if i record okay i'll stop will it change the background here near the phone area or where because let's see anyways uh, i'll bring up the app once again because i want to show you the preferences in detail Okay, I will save test. Save it. Okay, I have to close the app. I think the set preferences is not coming up without that. All right, uh, in recording uh, again, it says you can change the background. I'm gonna change it to blue this time and we'll check it out. Like I said, you can use other applications. This is for allow reflected director. So if you have reflected director on your phone, it will allow to connect as well i have reflector student on my phone then these are the some some of the other settings that you can check out now just uh, note here it also supports google cast that is with this application you can start streaming uh, from your phone onto your smart tv now that is something which i would want to look out i mean check out in my next video I mean, will I be able to use this application and uh, screencast onto my Sony Bravia Smart TV? So this is a good thing. I guess uh, I've got my next video. All right, guys. So pretty cool. Uh, again, on the background stuff, let me see if it changes the background in the recordings. Let me bring up the app. Apple Embroidering HP. There you go. I will start recording. Okay, stop. But this definitely, uh, I feel this application application is slow. Uh, the recording and saving the file was much faster in a power mirroring. Okay, so it's on my desktop, and then it is two. So I have test here. So this is this is the first first one we had recorded. So I think the background is black. So okay. So it talks about the background other than the phone. All right. And then if I say test two. Okay, it's taking some time. Okay, the background is still black. Okay, so I guess I'll leave up to you guys. You know, I still need to do some more R&D. Uh, frankly, not that great uh, an app for screencasting. So guys, uh, Thank you. Thank you for staying with me. Uh, thanks for watching. And, uh, you know, like I mentioned in my description all the time, uh, you know, I keep posting videos every now and then. So, you know, I would really love to have you as a subscriber on my channel. Thank you, guys.